What? <laughs> what is this? Look at that bear! Good morning. Although it's technically still night. Do you feel well rested? I do. Welcome back. Huh? Bear! Yeah. Nice face. You definitely look your best in the morning. Too bad. You could look better though. I'm pretty picky about people's morning faces. Hmm. Fucking hate this bear. What are you doing? Sure. My time is very valuable. Since you fell asleep still clutching the love key. I went out of my way to wake you. Really wish you were more appreciative. For context, someone in the comments of a video that came up recently said, KZ, get the love key from the casino, and after you use it, continue to load for funny hijinks. I have a feeling what it's going to do at that point. And I did. I spent 35 minutes grinding slots until I had 10,000 coins. And then I bought it. Uh, um, you mean this thing I wanted at the casino? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll tell you how to use huh? it. How to use it? <laughs> the key opens the way to a very special place. A place you might have seen in the vicinity of the casino. Hint, hint. Alright, that building. The, the, the sexy building. You look like you figured it out. Thrilling. Good. A healthy teenager's brain is supposed to be obsessed with sex and lust. Now then. That key you got there should help you clear out some of those carnal desires. Huh? How about you what? Huh? Oh, you starting to get worked up? You ready to let it all hang out? Then please read the instructions. It's time for the talk. The love key talk. This is the key that is used to unlock the love suite. When night falls, you and one other person will be invited to the love suite. There, you will be part of that person's fantasy. They will see you as their ideal, and basically just swoon all over you. Think of it as kind of a dream that lets you escape this cruel, dark reality. That's why it's so important to play the role that person wants you to. If you do something that breaks character, the other person will wake up in anguish. What happens there stays there. Memories are wiped when you exit. It's like a one night stand within a dream. Probably the best you both forget it. Well then, that's it. Hmm. You seem skeptical. Why don't you just try it? Go ahead. Take it for a spin. Looking forward to it. I'll make you sweeter than a bunny bear's honey pot. That's, uh... This is, this is weird. <laughs> I watched him bounce away stunned. The key felt heavy in my hand. Hmm. Well, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Alright, let's go fuck. Yeah, let's go fuck. Come on, lady. Hey, it's a girl. I mean... Eh, but if she's my ideal, or she thinks I'm the ideal, she should at least not be annoying in this. Alright, let's test it out. It's gonna be fun since apparently these are randomized, so here's hoping it doesn't take me too long, because we're gonna do all of them. I mean, all of the ones that we can right now. We can't... We, we can't do two of them. Also, people are wondering, I did roll back my save for this, so, uh, Ryoma is still around. Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. Maki's ideal fantasy. I wonder what that could be like. What is her ideal relationship? Hey. Hey. Huh? What? Jeez. I still don't know anything even after we've been to <laughs> What? We've been together for a decade? Hmm. Ten years? What's wrong? Right before you entered elementary school, you came to the orphanage. Uh, um... Yes, yeah, yeah, I do. I remember that. We were friends from the orphanage. Why? Why are you looking at me like that? Did I say something weird? No. Uh, no, no, it's, it's fine. <sighs> eh. 
I don't know why you're making the face. I don't get you. My eyes are dead. But... Uh, do you think that you should... Did I say something? Oh no. Oh no. She getting wet? Because... She's getting wet. I, I didn't know you thought about things. Oh no. Huh? Hey! Y you're the worst. B babaka Where did this come from? What is it? What are you trying to get me to say? You charlatan. It's all because you said that when we played house. Younger kids are copying us. I have no idea what she's talking about at this point. You. You're usually so unreliable, but then you had to say that. What a pain. She's gonna break her hair. When did you start thinking about family uh -huh. and fucking and what stuff? Are you trying to pull? That means you and I. <sighs> well, you must have said that seriously, knowing the type of guy you are. You don't lie. You'd never do anything to make someone sad. I already know that. I wasn't with you for this long just for your looks. <laughs> yeah, because look at him. That's why I... Oh man, is she looking at the dick? I think she's looking at the dick. She stopped pouring her heart out and looked down. Hmm. What's up? Hey. Give me your hand. Huh? Oh, okay. She squeezed her hands around mine as if trying to envelop it. Uh, um, uh, this is definitely yeah, this... strange. Why is this strange? When I think about you, when I hold your hand, when I touch you, I'm happy, but I'm scared. I'm satisfied with so little, but at the same time, I want more. I don't understand. This is the first time I've ever felt this way. Hey, Shuichi, there's still a lot I don't understand. But I'm certain about some things. I don't want to let you go. I'll stay by your side forever. Close enough to hold your hand. I want to... cuddle. Just the two of us. If this is what families do, then I want to do that. That's what it means to love. Maki... After you said you wanted to start a family, I thought about it. You're my friend from the orphanage. You've always been there. That's normal, but not at the same time. You think about me, I think about you too. Can we get to the part where I just fuck you? Oh look, her eyes are like wiggling. Look at that. She stared into my eyes. She's not though. Her gaze was serious and resolute. I don't want to lose anything. You... Or this feeling. That's why I want you to promise me. Not just a marriage proposal, but something that lets me feel more. Maki made her decision. I needed to make mine. I took a breath to prepare my heart and nodded with a smile. It was then that we had... Intense sex in the missionary position while holding hands. The most boring sex imaginable. Hey, we got a new one. Hello. I hope you're into some fucked up shit. Let's see. Alright. Let's see what this fantasy of Samugi is. I can see why people really wanted me to get these keys. <laughs> uh, um, Sweetie? What's wrong? Would you? Oh man, that's uh. Hmm. Hmm. My lover can't be this incest. Uh, I don't wanna. You don't want to call me little sister, do you, Sweetie? Big brother, little sister. What's going on here? She don't be nervous. I'll still call you big brother in front of mom and dad. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Her fantasy is fucking her brother. Oh, God. Aw, oh, jeez. Aw, um, bah, boom, bing, bing, bah. I don't know how to deal with this. It's just like some story from a light novel. Don't talk about those light novels. The dude who wrote those has been estranged from his sister. I wonder why. Our parents remarried, and I got a brother, and I fell in love with it. Oh, it's okay. It's not related by blood. And because they're not related by blood, it isn't nearly as bad. Actually. 
Uh, I never thought that plain old me would be in such a flashy role. It's perfect, just like the big brother route in a dating sim. Or, I guess it's more like the little sister route for you, huh, sweet cheek? I mean, I guess we could say that even though I'm pretty sure you're taller than me. Oh my. But I don't like you just because you're my big brother. Falling in love with someone who's just happened to be your sibling. It's a popular cliche, but to think I'd be experiencing it myself. That's... Samugi, this is fucked up. Uh, don't call me that. If we're lovers, give me nickname. Sorry. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I feel off. It's plain to see I'm being negative. What's gotten into me? Um... Times like this, I need you to cheer me up. Hmm. Cheer you up how? What? Don't ask me. I don't have enough experience. I'm uh, terrible. How about you put your hand on my cheek? Uh, okay. Uh, Alright, I can do that, yeah. Swiggy sighed and covered my hand with hers. This is so embarrassing. <sighs> Such a seductive gaze. I almost forgot to breathe. Hey! Your hands are surprisingly big. Uh, um... You think so? What's wrong? What's wrong? It's plain to see you're embarrassed. Well... And it's just that when you say things like that, it feels as though we're fucking. Aww. You don't think we're fucking right now? My eggs have already developed. I'm ovulating. <laughs> so you can't see me anything more than your little sister? Are you just humoring your silly little sister by pretending to fuck her? No. No, that's not it. I'm committing. Just like how my hair sticks up. <laughs> no, don't go there. Uh-oh. Whoa. Slid my finger. <laughs> Can I just hit the log? Samugi's expression was inscrutable. She pulled my hand off her cheek and slid my finger into her mouth. Wait. What are you doing? I lost my composure completely and yanked my finger from her mouth. I tried not to think about the fading warmth, the saliva cooling as it dried. <laughs> Was that a little too bold? You, no, I don't need you voicing this, this is gonna make this worse. But if I didn't take it that far, you wouldn't realize. Realize what? I want you to make me your real lover. W what? I want to become one with you. I want us to feel everything together. <laughs> Please. No. She batted her eyelashes at me in a way that was impossible to misinterpret. Her eyes, her lips, her body. They begged me to take her. I like you, Sweetie. If I ignored these feelings just because we're siblings, I'd regret it the rest of my life. That's how much I like you. Her lips, a smile. She sauntered toward me. Oh, sauntered. That's fucking weird. <laughs> I love you, sweet G. Okay. I, f I felt like her voice had wrapped around my brain, caressing it. I couldn't help it. She had me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank God that I, it takes a minute to get these. I need a break. I'll see you for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. The, the, the guys show up too. The guys show up too. Why are you why are you the first guy? Dude, I'ma tell you this. If we got Gonta on the very first attempt of this love thing, I would have cancelled the episode would have been like, no, we're done. We're done. We're done. I want to be done now. Every time I get fucking whatever. Allow Gonta. Thank you for coming to see Gonta. Gonta will do best to be Shuichi's companion. Huh? Okay. Hey. Hungry? Need Gonta to carry your luggage? Gonta's plenty strong. No. I didn't bring anything with me. What the fuck do you want? As gentlemen. What do you mean? 
It is normal for gentlemen to be gentle with women. Hmm. Oh no. This is the pain of being a Bishonin. I know I'm supposed to be a good partner, but this is gonna be fucking difficult. Maybe. Oh. Y y y y all like it? Uh, uh, you're right. I shouldn't force Shuichi into a lady role just for practice party. Huh? huh? Am I not supposed to be a lady? Huh? You're not a woman, are you? <laughs> Sorry. Wait, Shuichi's really was. Gonta should have noticed sooner. No. N no, I'm a man. Thank goodness. Oh, good. Gonta wouldn't know what to do. Gonta upset Shuichi in accident. <laughs> Don't worry about that, a harmless mistake. This is AIDS. Mm. Shuichi is so nice, going to wish us he could return the favor somehow. Oh yeah. Practice on Gonta. Huh? Uh, by practice you mean... Gonta do his best. Gonta never behaved like Lady before, but Gonta will do his best if you let him. Gonta! Yeah, Gonta! Go away! No way! But what Gonta's supposed to do? Shuichi being so nice! Wait! Gonta, it's alright, really. Please settle down. That not good! What should do? Gonta grabbed my shoulders hard. I couldn't handle the weight and... Uh. We fell onto the bed behind us, limbs entangled. Uh, um... Oh no. I'd fallen on my back. As the natural bottom I am. And Gonta was right above me, breathing hard. I couldn't move. Gonta's massive body on top of mine was too intimidating. Ah! Yeah, that's how I feel right now. Huh? Huh. Gonta's body jerked upward as if pulled by some unseen force, jumping back a few feet. Are you okay? Gonta, idiot! Gonta's not okay. I could go to rape you. <laughs> no. Don't worry about it. You surprised me a little bit. That's all. No can do that. Going to does worry. It's unforgivable for gentlemen to mistreat lady. So I'm still playing the lady then. No. Even if Shuichi not lady is still bad. Going to scared Shuichi. Still a long way to go before. Gonta can be gentlemen. Gonta, you you noticed that I was a little scared. You might not believe Gonta, but Gonta not ever wanna hurt you. Yeah, I know. I stood and walked up to him. I could see his shoulders trembling. Hey, I'm just fine, okay? Let's keep practicing for the party. Shuichi, thank you. Gonta, be perfect companion this time. Gonta, take care of you. Thank you, Gonta. Inspired by Gonta's impeccable manners, I reciprocated and offered my hand. He may not look the part, but I am convinced Gonta is a polite and kind gentleman. Um, what would gentlemen say? Gonta, keep you up all night. That might not be completely accurate. <laughs> Man, fuck Gota. Um, I don't want it. I don't want it. Well. Then, uh... Here we go. Hmm. Huh? What do you mean, what's going on? Listen up! Brother- Oh, not again. Huh? Again? What's wrong? I already got a much more appealing brother-sister fuck. Because... Well, I'm not your brother, so... No. Yeah, you are. As comrades in our art of Neo Aikido, our bond is thicker than blood. You are my senior disciple. Oh. Oh. Well, at least I'm not gonna get thrown. <laughs> anyway, what's going on? I don't know what you mean. You can do anything you want to me today. If I'm your disciple, why are you the bottom? 
Did you hear me? I said you can do anything. You have you have spit out a cork of liquid. Um, is this something we agreed to? You gotta be kidding me! Yeah, when you won the sparring match, you could do anything you want. We fought under those conditions. <gasps> if I won, I could do anything I wanted to you. There is no chance of me winning. Your immense strength can match even Masters. I won? Only in a dream, I suppose. Tenko would never lose up to a man unless... Well, in any case, she said that I can do what I want. Hmm, we have that kind of relationship. Listen up. Let's get started on our bet. But why aren't you doing anything to me yet? My body is ready. No. Ah, well, that may be the case. But I couldn't ask you to. That's amazing! Oh, so wonderful. I knew you'd say that. You're nothing like those degenerate males who only fantasize about sex. Listen up! To think that you view me as your precious little sister. I'm truly honored. But a deal's a deal. I took on this challenge with all my soul. You must accept the outcome and, and use your fair rights as the winner. Uh, uh, I'm no buts. Ready. <laughs> I'm ready to get fucked. She's serious about this. What a competitive woman. But I can't do anything to you. And besides, if I can do anything, that means I can do nothing, right? You've been trumped. You're so noble, I respect you for that. Damn it! But now I'm angry. You're an insensitive, degenerate male. Huh? I'm what? Huh? Don't you get it? I... I'm ready! I really want to get fucked. Huh? <laughs> you do? Listen up! I challenged you because I love you. I made a bet with you for that reason. Huh? What? Uh, uh, <laughs> I knew it. Your only love is our kung fu. Why? I tried so hard to get you to notice me, but you never looked my way. That's why this was the only thing I could do. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. I don't. I don't want to. I'm glad that Shuichi shares my thoughts. No need to apologize. I will accept this as punishment for my foolishness. But um. Tenga looked down and huffed out of breath, then shut her eyes up at me. Brother Shuichi! I... 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 love you! <laughs> I said it! I can't believe I finally said it! I'm almost positive that... Yeah, I was about to say, didn't she say that like fucking four lines ago? Alright, Shuichi. From now on, no more insensitivity from you, okay? Because I... I finally told you! I confessed my deepest desires and feelings to you! That's true. I guess. I'm being completely serious. I want to be yours, and yours alone. So, Brother Shuichi, if you ever want to, you know... You know, I have no... I have no interest. You can do anything you want to me. Any time, any place. And I'll be ready. Can I throw you in a ditch? I'm glad that you get nowhere with her. Thank God. Ugh. Oh no. Don't worry, I feel the same way, man. I feel the same way. Hey. I've warned you before not to chase after me. Huh? Why? Don't you get it? Nothing more than a form of tennis play. What? What? I... I threw away my past. We've got no reason to see hey. each other. Yeah. The mafia I got tangled up with is long gone. But I don't have a future anymore. I've got nothing to gain. You've got nothing to gain being with me. Huh? I'm not only seeing you because I get something out of it. <laughs> Managers should listen to their players, you know. I'm saying I don't want to see you. Why? How could you say that? Why are they being so stubborn? Perhaps he doesn't really want me to leave. Ryoma! At least tell me why you don't want to see me anymore. 
I'm not trying to make this hard, just I won't believe it until I hear you say it. Um... What is it, Ryoma? Jeez. I try to push you away and you just stick to me. What a weird guy. I'm not gonna talk about my selfish wishes now. You'll probably think I'm a pain. And then you'll stick around anyway. Just the type of guy. Well, now's your last chance to walk away. You're just gonna regret listening. No. I wouldn't do this to you. Not after coming this far. Now tell me. Then... You're wondering why can't KZ read what's on the text? I'm having a stroke, that's why. In that case, I'm gonna be honest. I'll be okay as long as you're alive. Huh? What do you mean? You're... You're someone who lives in the sun. A place that's beyond my reach. Someone like you remembering me in the back of your mind, that's all I need. Don't bother with me. Don't worry about me. Go somewhere far away and live happily. Uh, um... You telling... You telling me this makes me want to stay by your side even more. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you'd say some shit like that. But all this makes it seem like I want you to chase after me. How pathetic. That's... That's alright, man. Just... If you want to fuck, we can do it right now. On impulse, I took Ryoma's hand in mine. I felt that if I didn't hold tight, he would run away from me. Ryoma! I don't know what will happen in the future, but I know I'm happy now. His hands were smaller than mine. And years of tennis had made them hard but strong. I've still got a ways to go, too. I ended up getting you involved with me. It's all right. I won't run away. Ryoma, please don't run away either. <laughs> I wouldn't do such a lame thing now. It might have been a long time coming, but I'm going to at least say it properly. Shuichi, things won't be like before, but will you help me again? Yeah, of course. If there's anything I can do, I'd be more than happy to. Is that so? Then... To make sure you don't regret your decision, I'll do whatever I can for you too. All right, I'm counting on that. I'd done all I could. I held Ryoma's hand, safe and warm. And then, and then we had a weird fucking. And then he was a skeleton. I don't know what happened to him. You're basically a child. Let's get it on. <laughs> what did I just say? I'm sorry. I've gotten like three dupes. I'm ready for it. I'm also ready for someone who isn't a dude. Every time I come here, I play the role. Let's see how it goes this time. Okay. Shuichi, is your mana attuned properly for the ceremony? Huh? What? Oh my! Did you skip your preparations again? What a useless thrall. <sighs> Why did I make a useless guy like you my thrall? Uh, um... I explained it when I forged the contract. By Thrall, you're my familiar. I granted you a magical beast, human form, in exchange. You surf me. Huh? So I'm an animal in human form? Oh, you were originally a wolf. Huh? What? This is pretty out there even for these weird fantasies. I mean... You. So is your mana attuned yet? Uh, uh, um, I'm not done yet. What was that? So you did skip your preparations. This calls for a punishment. Huh? Okay. Don't move. If you move, I'll use my magic to pull out all your hair. She took a few bold steps toward me. Her eyebrows furrowed. What is she doing? Am I about to be a guinea pig for her magic? Yeah. Huh? What? Uh, um, what are you doing? Uh, this is your punishment. Wait! What? Uh, what? What? Um, what? I don't... That's right. I usually spoil you, but sometimes your master needs to be spoiled. It didn't sound like much of an order, more like a child just really wanting it. Uh, Hurry up. Uh, okay. Maybe pet her head? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do it more. My lips are becoming powerful. This is your punishment. 
so you need to pet me until I'm satisfied. I... Okay. My back. No. Uh, the, the... Why? This is fucking weird. I thought the whole fucking my sister thing was like, eh, but... But this. Aw, oh, jeez. Nah, I don't need these sounds. Are you okay? Uh. What happened? I know what you want, sweetie. What do I want? Huh? You're longing for the magical power I hold, aren't you? It's okay. If you want to do that, I'm just a foolish mage who fell in love with her familiar. Love? I'm ready. If you want me, then I'll become yours. I feel like I was put under a spell. And then, and then we fucked. Alright, that was just fucking weird, to be honest. I was waiting for this one. <laughs> oh, man. If this one doesn't fucking rock, then I don't know what I'm playing anymore. Hello, crazy cunt. <laughs> it's time for a wild ride. You know. What? Huh? What do you want? <laughs> I've got some fan fucking tastic news. And since we're childhood friends, you're getting the exclusive inside scoop. You better feel real fucking special. Uh, okay. All right then. We are childhood friends then. Neat. You know. So what's going on? Why did she get quiet? Um. Ah, oh, she's already ready for it. You, you can have your way with me if you want. Huh? I can what? Why you? You didn't hear me. You're such an asshole. <laughs> I just said you could fuck me. No. No, I heard you. I just don't understand. Why? Why? It's just this is sudden. I. I... It's just because I don't want to thank you. Huh? For what? what? I mean. What better reward for a man my way. than this slam and sexy ass body of mine? You know what I'm saying? No. I'm gonna ignore that last bit. You know the you know what I'm saying part because you sound like you're from Brooklyn. So what do you think? So, so why do you want to thank me again? What was that? Uh, you really don't know? You call yourself my childhood friend? That's. I'm sorry. I really don't know. Um. Don't laugh. Okay. Okay, sure. Um, you won't shout at me? Leave it to me. I won't. Uh, Alright. Ever since we were kids, you take care of me. You held my hand everywhere we went. You stayed by my side. You're still doing it. You're the only one who sees past my act and knows the real me. A bottom. <laughs> we must be very close. Um... If I didn't have you in my life, I'd probably be in a gutter or something. You're the reasons I can hold my head up as the ultimate inventor. And so I wanted to thank you. You said you didn't need my inventions. That I should use them to help people. So I don't have anything else to offer you. This thanks except... Myself. These sentences were sputtered out half-spoken. Her face cherry red. Um. No, it's just an excuse. What I really want is... Your baby. <laughs> huh? Oh boy! Uh, oh, those eggs are ready. <laughs> huh? What the hell? So hard to understand. God, you're so fucking embarrassing. With my beauty, brains, and talent, and your winning personality, right, that's the recipe for a perfect child. Best of both worlds. You're just trying to create babies with me. I fucking. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Why? Are you gonna fuck up my perfect plans for the future? Or is it 
You don't want that future with me? You won't let me be your girlfriend, Shuichi? Cause you don't need me? Is that it? No! I don't want you to abandon me too! So we... We gotta make a baby. Nope. You, you have it in your head that if we have a baby, I suddenly won't leave. You're very optimistic. I have to make sure you won't abandon me! This is the only way! Uh, is this how she truly feels? Come on, please. I want you. I need you inside me, Shuichi. Okay? That's okay, right? Please? Uh, of course not. There's no way I could do that. You motherfucker! If ah! you're not gonna use that dick of yours now, then when, huh? Oh my god! You know what? Fuck it! Come here, Shuichi! <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze every last drop out of you! <laughs> yeah! Oh, uh, hey, we got someone new. Finally. This video is gonna take so fucking long to make. Oh my god. Uh, as we continue to get new characters because it's random, which is a horrible idea, by the way. Fucking randomness. Makes it so much harder for me. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna grind 16,000 coins just to get all of these. What's up, Corkio? You seem like a fucking freak. I'm a little scared of him. <laughs> Shuichi, you've come to understand because you finally... You've come to me because you finally understand. I read two lines at the same time. Huh? What? What do I understand? Oh. Was all the interest you showed in me merely a lie? Whether it is true or false is irrelevant. That passion you showed me, I fell victim to its beauty. So as you wish. I will accompany you for but a single night. Do you understand? But as I said before, there will never be a time where I love you. You're all right with that. Oh, man. <laughs> He's like, I will fuck you. But I won't feel a positive thing about you. I don't give a fuck, Shuichi. Uh, um... Wait a minute, man. In Kyo's fantasy, I approach him and he responds. That's an interesting fantasy. But hey, some people need to dom. Whatever is the matter. If you're suddenly apprehensive, you can always run away. No. Uh, no. Oh. It's quite all right. I wouldn't blame you. Rather, it is I who would be at fault. After all, I'm only responding to your feelings out of simple curiosity. That's... What do you mean? <laughs> it may seem frightening at first. But I will tell you this, you will enjoy it. Wait! Uh, excuse me? Do not worry. It's only frightening at first. I is he gonna, like, open up his pants and then there's gonna be, like, a giant mouth with eight dicks? Like, <laughs> what? what's frightening about this? Huh? Wait, 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 wait what did that say? A bundle of red rope? <laughs> oh, no. You know, I said Dom. This is Dom. I, of course, already had a good idea what it was for. I made my way to the exit. Kia must have been be anticipating that. He grabbed my arm with his slender yaoi fingers. Ugh. Kia's grip was surprisingly firm. And he guided my body onto the bed as I fell backward. Say. Where are you going? You're in my control. Just surrender. Kia! Hold on a minute, man. I didn't know we could go this far. Oh. oh, you said that I could run if I wanted, right? I see, yes. I did say that, but I never said I wouldn't stop you. Huh? What? Ah, oh, yes. In any event, let's move this topic if you're interested in me. Why did I just turn him into, into Bill Clinton? <laughs> that was just natural shit. As I said... All aspects of humanity, even the ugliest, are beautiful. Okay, I need to fucking stop that. You took an interest in me. Spent time with me. What sort of beauty? I can't stop. This is what I wish to know. Um, 
what are you gonna do with me? Perhaps if you explain to me, I... <laughs> you needn't understand all at once. I will teach you thoroughly. N never mind. You don't have to explain. I have to accept the role, no matter what it is. But this could be dangerous. How do I get out of this? Make up your mind already. You were the one who wanted me, right? What? What? C can you speak what? up? Even with the voice acting maxed out, I can't hear you. Well, the way you quiver with confusion is beautiful, too. Now, give yourself to me. Your fear, worry, anger, and love. I will reveal all of your beauty. I will open the door to a world of pleasure you have yet to experience. <laughs> a cord of deep red ropes swinging from his fist. He glided forward and... And then we died. He, he, he basically just killed us. <laughs> Nothing sexual about it. You thought it would? It's the pleasure of death, really. So, in the interest of time, I've already spent over an hour and a half recording this video. I've pulled the rest of these clips off YouTube. Uh, I think people will find that fine, because I still get to blindly react to them. We're gonna do Kaito next, because fuck it. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't run off with a tail between your legs. Huh? The, the, what? I mean... We've each got 99 wins now, so this will decide the true winner. Alright! Of, of, of what? what also, thank God the auto that this person included is very nice. What kind of role do I play in this fantasy? This uh, battle of uh, wills. Was I in some kind of competition with you, Kaito? Uh, what, you, you looking back on things before the final battle or something? That's right. This is an anime. First time we met, it was huh? in the sky. What? Listen up. I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. I decided that before I enter the vast universe, I conquer the blue sky. Yeah. And there you were. Wait! Uh, what in the fuck is going on? <laughs> we didn't even get to know each other's names during our first airplane race. Alright, yeah, yeah, sure. He would think hey, that that's so... something he could do. It was the beginning of a heating battle over who was the fastest and coolest. But I never dreamed our battle would last this long. Uh, uh, ah, so we both won the air race 99 times, and the next race is winner take all. Okay. Pretty much. There's no more extra innings, you got it? I. How does this lead to us fucking? This is it. Hmm. Is there something wrong, man? Ah. It was just honestly, I feel like it's a waste to put an end to our fight. Wish these days could last forever, you know? I, I... That's... I... What? What if we kept racing forever? I'm sure some races would be fun, others bad. But somehow I know that. We could always enjoy hey. them together. I feel the same way, Kaito. I love flying with you. I see. It's like even though we're rivals, our hearts are one. I like that. But one way or another, this has got to come to I'm an end. Kaito Momota. Luminary of the stars. Yeah, yeah, I know that's what you are. Whatever, man. That's true. You're right, Destiny Universe, some What's some bullshit. What's up with you? Where's your fire, man? This is gonna be our final race. Come at me with everything you've got. Hmm. Uh, yeah, right. Um, it's just that uh, I don't know if I can get excited about this. It's not as if we can actually fly. You don't get it. Huh? What? In a heartbeat, I found myself backed up against the wall. His presence overwhelming That's me. That's enough! Are you really going to go into our final race like that? Kaito shouted, slammed his palm against the wall near my head, What's the staring into my eyes. What's the matter? Where's that determined glare of no. yours? Kaito, you... I barely managed to meet his gaze. He felt so close, looking down at me. Ugh. That's when I remembered where I was, and... Kaito! Hey, back up a little bit, man. This is getting gay. <laughs> my eyes darted around the room, looking for some hetero things to help save my life. I was caught up in the fantasy. But with Kaito so close to me, 
in a place like this, it's hard to stay calm. Don't Look at those horses. Out. I'm not gonna back up. Huh? What? Come on, man. You really think I'm gonna do what you say? Rather than backing off, he brought his face just inches from mine. Jeez. You're the first. Oh. Nobody else has ever made me want to stay in one place for so long. I want to get to the universe as fast as I can, but I don't want this to end. Hey, you understand what that means? I know that as long as I'm here, I'm Kaito's ideal, and so I... I understand him. I hold the key to your heart, but... Well, I guess you wouldn't understand. There's no way you feel the same. Anyway, it's not like me to start babbling like this. Kaito took a quick step back. I exhaled a deep breath I didn't realize I was holding. Listen up, Shuichi Saihara. If I win, there's something I gotta tell you. Something you have to tell me? Hmm. Could that mean... Now that it's been decided, I want to hurry up and say it already. Let's go. Kaito marched to the exit, and I hurried after him. The exit? I'm fucking having a stroke. If he wants to tell me something after the race, then... It's not something I can ask him. He has to tell me himself. Hmm. Alright! I'm gonna win! So I can finally uh, say it to you. Okay. Alright. What? Just okay? You gotta say I won't lose or screw oh. you. Well, I don't plan on losing. I was just curious as what you had to say. Shut up! Didn't I say I was gonna win, you fucking loser? <laughs> Ugh, what a mess. And so we two aviators headed to one last race together. Then realized we were captured and couldn't fucking do it. Man. Oh man, it's time for Kokichi. Huh? So, you're in trouble? <laughs> Trapping me in a place like this, that's very like you, Mr. Detective. So I'm still a detective in his fantasy. Oh, but... that's... But I won't tell you where I hid the stolen gem. <laughs> torture won't work Wait. either. I'm not gonna torture you. What do you think a detective does? Uh... You're planning on tying and roughing up my body. That's why you're in bed. Hey. No! I'm not going to torture you on that horse. Why? Eh, but isn't that what happens to a phantom thief when they're caught? Huh? A, f a, 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 a what? <laughs> but you know, if you're into some crazy kinks, even I won't be able to keep up. Is it That's possible for a localization team to fucking reference a game that... That new? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whatever, I'm in his fucking fantasy. I should just let it go. So he's a phantom thief? Hey! And then again, Phantom Thieves is not exclusive to that one video game that no one, no one's played, I'm sure. Uh, if you're trying to rile me up to give yourself a chance to escape, no dice, Kokichi. Figured it out already. I was willing to let you do whatever you want to me, since I love you, Shuichi. What? Wow! But wow, you even researched my name. My identity is bare and naked. Kiki did you just call yeah. me Shuichi? Yeah, well, looking up your name was a piece of cake. Ah, so I'm not a different person. It's me, and Kokichi is Kokichi. I mean, I'm supposed to be his ideal, but even when he tells me he loves me, I can't help but think he means the opposite. <laughs> if you're not going to do anything, then maybe I will. Before my mind even had a chance to process it, Kokichi's grin was upon me. Ugh. Uh, hey, um, c come on, man. Ah, jeez, Kokichi. Ah, jeez. Hey. No need to be scared. What did you think I was going to do to you? Because. Uh, I'm simply being cautious. We aren't exactly friends, Kokichi. Are we? The whole situation is too strange for me to get my bearings. Having this kind of conversation only makes it harder to know why I'm here. Don't be so cold to me. You've been chasing after me for so long. The stealing part doesn't excite me as much as being pursued by you, you know. Oh, man. Don't you feel the same? You weren't bored playing with me, were you? That's... 
Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily. <laughs> s well, I don't care what you think anyway, hmm. because you just do as you please, don't you? Ah. Are you mad because I toyed with you? Don't worry, I'm always thinking about you. You're always trying your best to catch me. I really have to give it my all to win. But you seem to be rather enjoying this for a cornered yeah. criminal, because the game's not over yet. Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi. What would you do if I told you that I wanted you to catch huh? me? What? It's true. There's a transmitter on my body, so my friends probably have this place surrounded already. <laughs> uh, looks like you'll be the one getting all tied and roughed up, Shuichi. Huh? That's not possible, right? This is... What? I... Then I remembered our roles. Wait! Kokichi, your lies won't work on me. Aw, you're not shaken up at all. I thought you would be more excited. That's too bad. I really wanted your eyes to be on me. I thought you didn't care about how I felt. That was a lie. You know, since I'm a liar. But when I said I wanted you to catch me, that was definitely not a lie. What do you mean? It means you can do whatever you want to me. And that's the truth. <laughs> Come, play with me. Let's do a lot more together. I, this is getting weird. Kokichi! Oh, oh, oh. Kokichi, wait, wait! Just kidding. Did I get ya? Yes. What? Kokichi didn't answer as he sprinted toward the exit. Kokichi, stop right there. I tried to give chase, but my knees were weak as I tumbled off the bed. We are mortal enemies in this fantasy, but still, Kokichi couldn't be leaving. Caught myself wishing he would stay before I smothered the thought. <laughs> that was pretty fun. See ya, Shuichi. I'll think of a more exciting game for next time. So make sure you excite me, too. Kokichi turned his back to me with a flourish, then placed his hand on the door. I don't like foreplay. <laughs> I really hope they let me um, fuck this robot. Um, hey, Shuichi, I have a favor to ask of you. It's embarrassing. You're the only one I can turn to. Uh, um, well, what kind of favor then, man? That's... Well... Oh, where to begin? Shuichi! <laughs> Will you form a romantic pair bond with me? Huh? Uh, what? I expected that some people would have this kind of fantasy, but not Kibo. Something's not quite right. He didn't ask for a confession or a date, but a pair bond. Strange. I... As you can see, I'm a robot, and I'm not ashamed of that, but I have yet to experience the feeling of love. Even human children have felt love before. Could it be... Are you saying that you want to experience that emotion with me? Yes. Humans often say that love is the most precious, wonderful feeling in the world. I too wish to experience what love is. Will, will you please help uh, me? Um... Uh, so, would you like me to act like your lover, Kibo? Uh, Listen closely. Of course. If we're gonna do this, I need you to take it seriously. Huh? What? What's the matter? Why are you surprised? Simply going through the motions would be dishonest. We must love each other unconditionally. We must understand each other completely. We must go on dates, grow even closer, and then we must commit our lives Wait. to each other. Hold on. This is, is getting fucking nuts. Did I speak out of turn? Hmm. No, it's not that. It's just... Don't you think it's uh, there's a bit long term what? for a favor? But that's not wrong of me, is it? Or do you believe there's an easier way to feel the love of, for that's another? That's true. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. Of course. Then please take me. In sickness and in health so that I may know truly what love is. 
Alright, he's going too fast. But uh, nigga, slow down. But Kiba, you do really like me that much. I did. <laughs> well, I now I feel rather awkward. I. I didn't want to hear you say that. I don't actually <laughs> love you, Kibo. Well. I apologize if I gave the impression that I wanted a dishonest relationship. I just thought that you were the only person I could ask for this sort of favor. I, I couldn't have asked this of anyone else. I just want you to sorry. know that. Is that true, Kibo? I'm sorry. Should have never doubted your feelings. No. No, I don't blame you for feeling skeptical. My approach was dumb. It's obvious now that my overzealous for my overzealousness hey. for romance fucked everything up. Hey now, I didn't say no. Really? Really? You can fuck okay. me? Man, USB ports are gonna fly. I think I might already be in love with you. Huh? What? I think. My feelings for you are increasing at an exponential rate. Please, say more kind words to me. I don't want these feelings to go away. Uh, neither do I. It's just, I get embarrassed saying things like that. Then, may I... Uh, hold your hand? My hand? Aww. Well, if it's just that, okay. Hey! Is this a handshake? Huh? Oh, that's right. Lovers hold hands in a different fashion. But... I'm quite nervous. Would it be alright if we stayed like this a little longer? Oh, my heart is at peace right now. Yeah. Is it gay if it's a robot? Thinking emoji. Hey, look, we can even fuck dead people. <laughs> wow, oh, impressive. Perfect. Looks like you finished all your assignments. Huh? What do you mean? What's wrong? What do I mean? The math book. You finished all of it. Math book. What? Could he be my tutor? He's too casual to be a regular <laughs> teacher. That's why you're my favorite student. Good job. Good work, Shuichi. As he showered me with praise, he lightly tussled my hair with a smile. This is part of Rantaro's dream. I can't break character, or he'll wake up and feel awful. For now, I guess I'll be his student. Wait! Fine, then. Rantaro, I'm not a little kid, man. Even if this is his fantasy, it still feels weird to be talked to like that. How should I put this? Rantaro, huh? His tone has changed. Pulled his hand away. Dejected. <laughs> Not that long ago, you were calling me Big Brother. No. Uh, was I? My irritation seeped into my voice. Of course I didn't know what he was talking about at all. Me. Guess I made you hate me, didn't I, Shuichi? Huh? Huh? Oh well, yeah. Look, I get it. I'd be upset too. I've been your tutor for so long, but now I tell you I'm leaving. Leaving? How should I put this? And the fact that I can't even tell you why doesn't... Wow. You can't even tell me why he's leaving. I don't know how to respond. <sighs> I know I'm being selfish, Shuichi. I'm sorry, but I want to shelter you from danger as much as huh? I can. Danger? Yeah. Huh, <laughs> whoops. Guess I shouldn't have said that. Forget it. Hmm. No, Rantaro, I won't. Not with that look on your face. No. Some teacher I am, huh? Making you worry about me. Hey. But you don't have to worry about a thing. Nothing will ever hurt you. I will protect you, I promise. No one precious to me will ever get hurt again. From what are we... What's going on? I can't keep up to this bullshit. Wait! Wait, Rentaro. I don't really understand, but here goes. Hey! 
that hurts me, Rantaro. Thinking about you carrying this burden all by yourself, it hurts me, man. Rantaro's just trying to keep me safe, but I can't let him I'm... go. Maybe you see me as just a student, so you don't think I can protect you. But I'll want to be sheltered and oblivious to everything. Shuichi. Remember. Rantaro, you're going to quit being my tutor, right? So I'm not just your student anymore. I'm your friend. You can tell me anything. I know I can help you. Got you. Me. Huh. Now where'd this come from? But I'm glad you don't hate me. Now I can die happy. It's no use. Don't say that. You <laughs> yet. I'm joking. Why would I ever die? It would be from a retarded Rube Goldberg machine, if anything. That death was real lame. Are you sure about this, Shuichi? You're at the point of no return. The, the what? <laughs> I would never want you to face it alone, Rantaro. You've really come into your own. <laughs> All right, I give up. I'll tell you everything. Just until the end of this lesson, can we act like nothing's changed? The time that I spent as your teacher has been such a comfort to me. Yes, of course. What a nice boy. It's so unfortunate that he went so early. Alright, next up is our hot May maid. Master Shuichi. Huh? huh that me? Is yes. that me? I mean, it's your name. Uh, I, I would um, assume it's you. No, I was confused because the master went in front of it. That is. That's because you're my master. I, Kurumi Tojo, will offer everything that I have to Master Shuichi. This is Kurumi's fantasy? I'm part of her dream? Seems as though we have a servant-master relationship. In any case, I can't break character now. Kurumi would wake up from her dream and feel terrible. I can't do that to her. She's such a nice lady. I mean, look at her. I? Master Shuichi, I must tell you something today. Huh? What is it? What's up? I was employed by the master, your father, for a very long time. However, that ends today. I will leave the mansion tomorrow. Huh? Why? Why Why this all of a sudden? That is because... Shuichi, will you promise me something? What I am about to tell you must remain here, my secret. Kurumi's voice became gravely serious. Okay. Eh, no problem. I'm good with the secret stuff, except that this is a public YouTube video. Thank you very much. I am convinced that you, out of all people, will keep the promise, Master Shuichi. Definitely, since you're the man I love. Huh? Oh boy! Ah, oh, jeez! Yes. I mean every word of it. Although I am the ultimate maid, I do not know how to handle my own emotions. Kurumi looked more fragile than I had ever seen before. My apologies. To be honest, when I first laid eyes on you, I was quite worried about your well-being as the heir to the Saihara family. I knew it was my destiny to nurture you and help you grow. I know I've not fulfilled my destiny yet, but somewhere along this path I became attracted to you. The generous smile you showed to the weak, your wisdom as the ultimate detective. Although you are still unsure of your role, you have the courage to move forward. But most importantly, with your kindness, you treat me as an equal. Uh, um... And that is the problem? I don't understand, Kurumi. I see you as my equal, and a woman I who... I do not agree. You mustn't. Please do not say such a thing. Huh? What? That is... You must remember your duty. You're the heir to the Saihara family. This is what I have feared. My feelings will hinder you. They will pull you away from your destiny. My love will become a bad influence to you. That is why I must leave. My pride as a maid forces me wait. to- Wait! Wait a minute. I don't understand. Hmm? What? Hey! Your feelings of respect and love for me can never be a bad thing. 
I won't let you talk that way, Kurumi. Oh? Master Shuichi. Kurumi didn't say anything for a while. However. <laughs> ah, gee, she's leaking! The calm, perfect composure she always kept began to crack. <laughs> as teardrops fell, she cried as a child would. Kirumi. I reached out to her shaking shoulders and held her tight. Uh, Master Shuichi! Oh, Master Shuichi! Are you sure? Is it truly alright for me to have these feelings for you? Yes, of course. Thank you for expressing your feelings. I am not worthy of such kind words. I am infatuated with you. I love you! Please allow me to stand by your side forever. That's very hot. Oh, hey, look. It's time for Crazy Bitch. Yahoo! Oh, what's up? Hey, Shuichi, I'm bored. Bored, bored, bored. I outrank you. So if you don't do something about my boredom, I have to punish you. Uh, um... You... What? Oh, course, are we in the army? I have seniority because I'm older and wiser than you. Why are you pretending to play dumb? Is this a new game we're playing? No. No. No, no I'm just stupid. We're the same age. But she has seniority in this fantasy? Well, I have to act the part. I don't want Angie to feel bad. Come on, come on! Look, look how bored I am. Atua has spoken. Atua says a low rank who lets a high rank be bored gets points uh, deducted. Um... Well, uh, what should I do then? Before I could concoct a plan, and she gave me an answer. Yaha! Uh, what? <laughs> what happened? Uh. Hey, and she slammed her body into me, knocking me over. Jesus. You crazy Wait. bitch. What are you doing? What are you doing? The bit creaked as we toppled onto it. Tried to get to my feet, but... Yeah. I gotcha. She giggled like a schoolgirl. She straddled my knee. Uh, well, more like my thigh. Hey. Oh, you're getting close. You're getting close, thighs. Uh, this is a divine bed. I think we can have fun here. She's not listening at all. Yoo-hoo! Hey, Shuichi. She peeked at me with teasing eyes. Uh... What's poking me? Oh, uh... boy. <laughs> it's my hair, right? Yeah! Uh, I, I sure hope so. What? What could it be? I don't know. I don't what know. What indeed? I think it might be a peeny weeny. <laughs> well, then. Hey, Shuichi. I want to play some more. Uh, um... What 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 are you trying to, to play? Uh... You know, the usual. Since you won't come up with something fun, we'll play the usual game. Oh man, I can't wait to find out what the usual game is. Eh? You're still not used to our game? I... But that's okay. You always do whatever I tell you, Shuichi. Yeah! That's why I like about you the most. Uh. Whoa. She leaned forward and embraced me. Of course, the way she was positioned, her chest pushed right against my face. Wait. Uh, and you're touching. You're I touching. What? I know. I'm doing it on purpose. Huh? What? Because. I like you, Shuichi. I like watching you get filled with divine fervor. That's cum, actually. <laughs> she strained her body, peeking down at me. I recognize that smile. Felt a bit naughtier than usual. So? What do you want me to do to you today? Huh? What, what, the, the what? I... I want to see you get filled with divine fervor just like this. Huh? <clears throat> a shiver ran through my body. I realized that Angie, out of all the characters... Actually, no. Uh, um... I never expected her and Mew to be the ones that rape us, but it looks like that's probably happening. You like that, huh, Shuichi? I know you do. Atua told me, still smiling, her fingers began tracing all over my body lower. 
and lower still. Angie's small, I could probably throw her off if I wanted to, but no way! Oh, no way. Uh, stop! Hey! Hey! You can't talk to a high rank like that! Atua will get angry, you know? Uh. <laughs> so I'll punish you instead! I'll meet out punishment in Atua's place! Uh, Angie! Hey, Angie, enough! You're so cute, Shuichi. I'm the only one who gets to see the side of you. <laughs> That's enough punishment for you. It seems the Tua is satisfied. Uh, alright. She almost touched the clown. Now it's your turn. Make sure I have lots of fun, okay? Oh, man. Huh? Oh, boy. Time oh, play, boy. Shuichi. Play until we've reached sweaty salvation. <laughs> He's like, I don't know how to do it. Oh boy, one more. Alright, the last one, of course, would have to be our lovely previous protagonist. I'm very interested in this. How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? Um, uh, um... Uh, 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 you know? Alright, um, we've huh? gotten um, we've made contact. Um, Do you remember what today is? Uh, um, um, no, uh, I don't. I forget when this is coming out. So you don't remember. I kind of have that feeling. Alright. No. You don't need to apologize. My friends told me boys are like this. She put her hands on her hips and pounded at me. You know? Today is our anniversary, you know? When we started dating. Huh? It, it, what? Right? Today's very important. So, this is her fantasy. We've already been dating. Hey. Since it's our anniversary, I want you to say it. That's... Say it. Say the thing. Ah, uh, jeez. I was the one who confessed to you, you know. Sorry. I'm sorry, but I honestly don't know what you want me to say. I'm dead. Jeez, you fucking suck. Did I make her mad again? Hey. How long will I have to wait before you call me something other than just Kaede? Something other... what? Right? Call me, like, sweetheart or something. Uh... Um, uh, uh... oh. Oh. Got it? Say it! Say it! Sweetheart. Oh, jeez. Gasp! Are you okay? Are you dying? What's up? Uh, I'm not okay. Hearing that took me by surprise. Yeah, me too. Uh, but you went back to calling me Kaede again, uh, fucking loser. Uh, it's fine. I, I really like that passive side of yours. Don't get all quiet on me, please. Work with me. Without a word, Blushing Kaede took me in her arms. Ugh. Whoa, this is close. Please be careful. As Kaede leaned into me, I lost my balance. And we need to stop falling like this. We keep falling in this bed. Wait. This is a bit... Ah, jeez. We're in bed. Oh, not like I would try anything. It's alright. Shuichi. Uh, um... Yeah, what's up, man? How's it going? You know? Hug me. Huh? What? Right? Like this. Do it like that. Oh, just give me a nice little squeezy squeeze. That's hot. Matching my movements, she drew her body closer, pressing herself against me. Is this like softcore porn for my audience? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Sound off in the comments below. Can you hear my heartbeat? Uh, okay. <laughs> I can hear yours too, Shuichi. It's my favorite melody. It envelops me in a warm, strong embrace. More than any other song can do. It fills me with courage. 
Shuichi, you play my heart better than I play the piano. Kaede? Please, call me your sweetheart. S sweetheart If we're going to be honest today, then... I wanted to hear you say that. As long as you give me this courage, I can do anything. <sighs> what should I do? Kaede, I, I mean my sweetheart, pulled back and rested herself on my lap. We stared into each other's eyes for a long while, our noses almost Shuichi, touching. Will you do it with me? I would like that more than anything. Ah oh, man, the fuck. In place of a reply, I pulled her in closer. And then we fucked real hard. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video for the actual trial. I hope you enjoyed some hanky panky. <laughs> I'm an idiot.